Let's go ahead and actually hear this limiter. And I thought it'd be fun to start with some tracks that were already mixed pretty loud, where they might be running into some intersample peaks already. And seeing if this Brainworks limiter can still sound good, even on stuff that's already been limited pretty heavy. I think that'll be a fun test. And then near the end, we'll hear it on some more dynamic material. First, here's a hip hop track from an artist named Morning Hawk. You may remember him. We played one of his tracks on the Better Maker walkthrough I did that you can find here on the Plug and Alliance channel. Let's check this out. This is a track called Lift. All right, let's play it here. When I play this top one, this is going to be the original track soloed. And then I did a super quick mastering job here, just threw on a Better Maker EQ, a little bit of multi band dynamic control from Plug and Alliance to control some of the low end, and then the True Peak Limiter. Let's hear how it sounds before and after and what I'm doing here. So here's our before. Covered. So obviously there's a couple of things going on here aside from limiting. I'm doing a little bit of an EQ, trying to address some of the distortion that's happening in that kick on the low end and just tuck that back a little hair to give it a little bit more gloss. We'll go out here to the end and see what's happening here. I'm actually applying a significant amount of additional gain here and there's a significant amount of additional limiting going on. But I think that the after sounds just as clean, if not cleaner, than the original. So let's hear this section again, this time with and without the limiter. So I'm making this pretty loud. We're at a momentary of about negative eight here, and I could push this limiter even louder and still have it sound pretty cool. The only other major parameter I've changed here is the foundation control, which is allowing me to clean up that low end a little bit. Let's play around with this foundation control together and hear how it sounds. With each other, smothered and covered. And I think you can hear it. It's so beautifully designed to be subtle and have the entire range in this foundation control be useful. Here we need just a tiny bit of tightening up on the low end to get him a little closer to his references. And with literally like a five minute mastering job here using just Better Maker, a little bit of the multi band XL V2, and this limiter True Peak, I'm able to get sounding pretty close to what a finished master might be. I think this thing can sound pretty darn good even when you're applying quite a bit of limiting. So let's just see how far we can push it without messing with the sound too much. I'm going to set it back to zero here and then use this link control so we don't hear too much of a volume jump as I am applying the limiter. And here we go. Cover. So you can hear, you can apply a pretty significant amount of limiting here. We were getting three and four and five dB of limiting without really significant distortion, which I think is pretty impressive. Let's hear this on a totally different genre. I'm going to bring up a more heavy rock track, really, from a guy named Eric Hotchwald and his band, Moon Machine. This track called The Cave is coming up off of his upcoming LP. Let's jump into a fairly dense section here. Again, we'll hear the unmastered version and then a quick master that I did. I just threw on a little bit of EQ with the V3, a little bit of the townhouse bus compressor, a tiny touch of the SPL iron for a little meat and character, and then the True Peak limiter. And we'll dive in and see exactly what's going on with that limiter. Here's our before. So a little bit of scooping out the mid-range and kind of tightening things up a little bit. But then this True Peak limiter once again. I'm doing some pretty significant limiting from this one. Almost all the dynamic range control on this track is coming from the True Peak limiter. And let's hear and see exactly what's going on with these controls.
So a little bit of this foundation control in here to thicken things up, a tiny bit of extra high pass filtering of the extreme lows, and a little bit of this XL control for a little bit of extra richness and harmonics. And again, I'm pushing this thing pretty hard. You're seeing it do 3, 4 dB of gain reduction, bring us up to negative 6 luffs, and still sounding pretty clean and idiomatic for the genre. So if it can sound good, push this hard to settings, this hot, chances are pretty good that it's going to sound pretty great when used more conservatively as well. Really, obviously, the best way to hear this is side by side with your own favorite limiters. Put it up to this SIP test. I think you're going to be as impressed by this one as I was. Try it for free by going over to plugin-alliance.com where you can try out this or any of the other tools Plugin Alliance makes for free for 14 days. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at the Brainworks BX Limiter True Peak along with me. This has been Justin Coletti of Sonic Scoop. See you next time.